Good morning, Mike Page from Fargo Rate. We've got some data we'd like to share on the modified spot shot format used in the Pro Billiard Series tiebreaker. A match starts with two 10 ball races to four. If they split the two races to four, it goes to a shootout. The players alternate shots, each shooting four shots total, almost spot shots, two from the left and two from the right. They're not spot shots, though, because the 10-ball is racked below the spot in the position that is normally found in a 10-ball rack. If they're tied after the four attempts, it goes to a sudden death phase of the shootout. A shootout to determine the match winner as opposed to a tiebreaker game or a short set comes with a trade-off. A shootout focuses on shot-making under pressure, which is not the full range of 10-ball skills. That sacrifice comes with benefits. The benefit is this close match is now determined by a skilled differential. You and your opponent are doing the same thing, and you will not lose the match unless you falter relative to your opponent. So what is the degree to which, at least on average, this shot tracks Fargo ratings, tracks the ability to win individual games? Think of a graph like this, where player skill is on the horizontal axis, with beginning league players all the way on the left and world-class players all the way on the right. And on the vertical is shot success, and this could be for any shot, but here we're talking about what we're calling the Pro Billiard Series spot shot. Now, you could say that without actual data, we don't know anything about what this curve looks like. But that's not really true. You don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. We have enough experience to know, roughly, that top players are pretty darn good at it, and weak players are pretty darn poor at it. What we don't know is the details of what this dependence really looks like. Think of attempting this shot as like playing a game against a particular opponent. Making the shot is like winning the game, missing the shot is like losing the game. From this point of view, the shot itself has a Fargo rating, and we can find it by figuring out what player skill leads to a 50% shot success. We have enough data to see that on average, players around 600 are at 50% for this Pro Billiard Series spot shot. That's a ratio of one to one, one make for every miss. If this shot really acts like a 600 level opponent, then a 700 should be at two to one, two makes for every miss. That's about a 67% success rate. And an 800 level opponent should on average be at four to one, four makes for every miss. All right, let's try this with actual data. Uh, from a handful of events we have for several hundred players spanning several hundred points of Fargo rating, over 3,500 attempts at the spot shot. We need large numbers to get reliable averages. So what we do is divide this over 3,500 attempts into five groups by rating. Each group has about 750 spot shots. And for the lowest group, the average rating is 572, and it's 47% success. The average rating for the next 750 attempts is 688 and 63% success rate. The middle group averages 752, 72%. Uh, the next group up, Average is 782, has 75% success. And the top group, the players average 810, and there's 81% success. On a plot like we were looking at a little bit ago, it looks like this. So we can speculate from this that players around 500 would make about one out of three, and players around 400 would make about one out of five. Now these are average data, and we don't yet have enough data to see whether individual players are unusually good or unusually poor at this shot. On average, this shot tracks Fargo ratings pretty well. When individual players do each individual skill, like say shot making, commensurate with their Fargo rating, we say that they're in skill equilibrium. We think, but don't know yet, that skill equilibrium is a pretty good assumption. As always, we'll be able to say more when we have more data. Cheers from Fargo rating.